Hey boys, Scott in the Red Deck Canadian. Welcome to uh, Homestead University, my fairly new channel where I try not to swear and uh, you know, set off liberals. But anyways, hey, uh, my friend Lindsay from uh, a fellow Ham's beer drinker uh, from Minnesota, <clears throat> who also does maple syrup, was asking me about reverse osmosis. So I figured I'd do a real simple video about um, how you actually do reverse osmosis and how it works when you make maple syrup. So let's do it. All right, so this is the reverse osmosis system that I use. It's an ANORO with three membranes. Um, and then here is the sap that we got from out there earlier today. And we started off with 28 gallons of sap. So it's February. I mean, that wouldn't be good for when the season's going. Then right there we got water. So I got myself a little cheat sheet here. I don't care what anybody else tells you, this is the easiest way to do it. Somebody told me this and I figured out a system and here we go. So, you need to know, you need to have a way of measuring how much sap that you start with. In this case, we got a barrel and I put the light behind it so you can see how much is in it. We've also got a tote for when we're you know, in the sugar shack for when we're really going. So this is system here will pull out about 12 to 13 gallons of water per hour um, on average and it'll take it to about 60 percent of the water out so 40 percent sap um, and where that's limited is the pressure because you don't want to be blowing stuff out um, trying to force water through the membrane that doesn't want to get forced through the membrane so so we start out with 28 gallons okay we know we're going to do 60% out, so 40% of 28 is approximately 12 gallons, okay? So you can either do that by measuring how much water you take out, or you can do it by how much sap is left. But what we're doing here is this is our inlet line with a filter on the end, okay? This is our concentrated sap line going back into the barrel, and then this is our purified water that we're gonna keep. Um, I actually kept 110 gallons of it last year because it's good for making ice and drinking water. It's amazing, the kids will take uh, take that purified water over a pot. So anyway, so once we get down to 12 gallons, then we do our 43.75 to one. I don't care what anybody says, it always works out to 43.75 to one. We could start with 250 gallons of sap and I can get to within four ounces when that refractometer hits 66%. So it's gonna give us 0.64 gallons of sap syrup out of this 28 gallons. So basically that's how you do it. And uh, you know, you can read on all these other things. You can get told dissolved syrup or dissolved solids uh, meter and all of that stuff. But this is the way to do it because it's simple and it works. So anyway, so I hope you got something out of that. Anyways, Lindsay, I hope you did. So, uh, all right, we're going to wait for this, probably drink a couple of hams and uh, probably boil us, boil down and get us a half gallon or so of syrup tomorrow. So, all right, keep your stick on the ice, eh?